Hi guys, Nai here. Let's continue with the Chung Su gameplay, and I hope this episode will be the last one. Much of Han Moon's enigmatic personality stems from the Isom meditation practice that is common during Chung Su training. The practice involves a deep sea diving suit and a little else. Would be agents are left alone at the bottom of anthropologic trenches for hours at a time. Bioluminescent flashes are the only visible stimuli and the muffled sound of the ocean the only accompaniment. These sessions were often preceded by intense physical training so that exhaustion threatened to overwhelm the participant. Intense focus was required to stay awake and alive. Um, I'm quite confused on what this should mean but obviously we are practiced in the deep seas and I am going to research the alien sciences soon uh, that will take us over to Harmon level 5, but that will not be enough to continue the gameplay, but conquest yet, because we will not be stronger as than our opponents, uh, which are currently only the Pan-African Union and Utama of Paul Australia. But we have quite a lot of navy, and we are much better than the AI in efficiently using them against our enemy. Uh, however, I will need a laboratory very definitely because our science is not just not enough into advanced like alien adaptation technologies right now. However, there's little else that would give us harmony ability. Swarm robotics would, but that's the same. I think alien adaptation is much better because food and access to Xeno Swarm, which might be a bit useful, but we don't have um cinemas yet let's go on and move our cruisers or move our navy in the north side forward it's not a big navy i warn you right now and i'm splitting it in two there is the southern southern navy against magan bring down ayan and all of these navy that pau uh, the african union has accumulated in the south and I think I should be going undercover so that he doesn't scout me and take the city by surprise. However, this drone will be invaluable. It will be scouting the area. I know we are currently cooperating with Samata Jambar, but that will change. We need to subvert. And I just remembered we need to build by a factory. Uh, as well as that would be a good place to build it not going to hard build it because that would take 30 turns but rather wait for 900 energy so that i can purchase it wait these units could have gone the other way around and reached this place from the what is it western eastern side i guess east if you are looking from magan outwards Let's look at the quest. Yes, Beating Heart Society requests me to build a dome. I'm not going to do that anytime soon. The subset curse needed by a factory building. Operative extraction in Alimur. I'm doing that. Uh, founding an outpost. We are very much behind in that. And the Ice and Conquest. Just one alien structure. I'm not going to finish that Marvel quest right now. In, in this game. At all. Okay, she declared war on me. Now she can get acceptance. Get a quest decision for the ultrasonic fence. Let's protect our trade convoys. Navy forward. All right, covered operations will finish in one turn. And we have moved two turns at once for alien sciences, I believe. Okay, lead food soldier. We need to build a Xenos Sanctuary building. I don't know if I have access to that. Xenos Sanctuary over here. Well, that's pro probably a bit later. We have successful covered operations. We got 250 energy, which is decent. We can purchase the biofactory here. Oil resource. Let's purchase it. We get 15 affinity towards harmony and 10% respect from diplomacy partners. Uh, because we are very empathic based on the subset curse. That's a good outcome, I believe. Even though not really good in our conditions, it's hard to quantify. We reached level 5 harmony, and I can finally move the scatter out of La Coeur, and we can continue with... Um, actually, I will still science because this is somehow 
a faster operation. I will set alien senses and then alien adaptation as the next technology so that I get anything on the turn of turns. On the, when the turns are switched. Now, Melody is accepting relationships, but Hutama is changing. We are into harmony, he is into purity. Our affinities differ greatly. And I think he's taking out the Hydrochoros. No, that's African Union. Even though this is not a big army, this is just a this is just a hit and run commando. Quite slow to take down Magan. I will have to move to one two turns to get in range. But another part of our navy is coming this way and is much more powerful one. They will arrive from here, so Magan will be surrounded. However, having the completed quest means that once we research alien sciences, we'll we will hit Harmon level 6. That's good news. And I have to use that advantage. Samatar is only at purity level 4. However, Hutama is at 5 already. All of these that I have crippled, they are pretty weak. And of course, I should upgrade my personality traits. Let's go with the character trait. And now we are getting 30 science per agent ranked. Our agent, one of them is agent. This one will yield 60 science plus whatever he steals. Let's recruit. Yeah, we got additional one because, because of reasons, I guess. I don't remember finishing any quest for that. But let me scout. It seems that Freeland is freely accessible from the north. Uh, there was probably some city, probably Freeland was landed down here, moved over here, moved over there. Um, I'm quite confused, but it looks like he was working visas, but isn't anymore. All right, there is Alien Sciences. We get level six of Harmony. We can upgrade our units that are cutters, marines, jets even, if we had one, but we are currently attacking far from our borders. The cutter will become a screamer. It will have 40% strength when attacking cities. No, but that's not really required. The cities are not strong, and if we are damaging the city with ranged units first, that's enough. Let's give it one movement and eight additional strength. Become a brawler and become stronger when alone. It's not a big deal, and he has quite a bit of navy in my direction, but all of these navy is in the back. That might mean he will not be able to notice it's there until it's too late. We may be allied to the aliens, but that doesn't mean we they have to block us. All right, Chang Ho will be reassigned somewhere. No, it will stay here and do nothing until we capture the city. I think it's time, maybe next turn. No, let's do it this turn and we will be able to um, attack the city with these cruisers from the eastern side as well. How about the north? There are quite a bit of ships. Let's have a look around Freeland. Yeah, he has some, some navy. It's not a lot. And I believe we are going to make it with all these submarines. All right. Covered agent was promoted to special agent. We got boosted some, by some science here. Alien adaptation is not 20, but 14 turns. Total 222 science. That's very nice. And now we have to extract operative. This unit will have new recruits and I think it is time to attack. I don't think so. I'm going to declare war on you immediately. We were cooperating, but in this game you can declare war immediately on anyone, even if you are allied. And we will strike Magan while we're at it and move the Tidehunters a bit closer. Cruiser over here and it can bombard Magan. No, it cannot. It doesn't have enough movement points. This one will move over here and Screamer forward. Take it. Annex the city and I will keep bombarding Ion and defending the city uh, from his rather big navy around here. Let's fire it down as well. Frontier Stadium to become stronger. It cannot purchase anything in here. 
Not because we would not have the money, but the city is under martial law. That's a good me mechanic, I believe. There is some time until your authorities regain power. I will destroy some of his ships around here. Uh, I will wait for the side hunters to arrive at Freeland, and only after that I'm going to go against Utama and the episode, I believe, will be over because his city is particularly weak. Even weaker than a single screamer. I'm going to destroy this scattered unit he has everywhere. Let's have a look. Yes, there is the navy. And now the challenge begins. Can we keep it up? I will have to do some moving the tiles in here. Uh, destroy as much as I can. But fortunately the screamers are a very very fast unit and can take out the cruisers. I'm not going to move the ship over here because it would take all of its um, movement points. Let's just keep it here and bombard the cruiser. The tide hunter has to wait and attack this one with screamer, this, this one with screamer, but a stronger one of course. And that should be that should be it. Let's destroy this one. And there is a tide hunter. And I believe the marine, I have seen it, but it was like invisible because of the tide hunter here. Very interesting mechanic detail. Okay, he has quite some cutters at Freeland. But I think I will be able to take down the city before the cutters make any difference there. And we captured some settler that was transformed into a worker. And there is a wonder at Magan. Uh, it is both the Faradeja and Stellar Codex. And all of the regular buildings were destroyed in the process of capturing it, except for the clinic here. That means that this diplomatic capital protection is now ours. And it looks like he's withdrawing. Let's bombard this tide hunter. It's not easy to take it down, that's granted. Let's protect the screamer, put it into the city. Uh, destroy this screamer and bombard Ion. As you can see, it is a really strong city right now 61 combat strength i will have to respect that however the submarines are at a, an advantage as long as they are not discovered visible they cannot be attacked from the city even and it would seem Ultima is aware of this little army i have here and is moving he knows what is coming uh, will be will he be able to prevent it i think not we have got some more recruits, uh, secret agents, and well, that one from Magan was uh, was expelled. It came back, so that was just one more. Let's keep stealing science. Oh, over to Freeland. How how about that? If we don't take the city, we can at least see everything there is in there. And it looks like the Grand Navy that I was afraid of. Uh, has all but evaporated and bombard the this city i believe one of the cruisers yes was destroyed i'm not going to take ion i probably could by this screamer but that wouldn't be fair it wouldn't be in the spirit of this gameplay i will wait for these tide hunters to arrive at their slow pace around here and attack freeland afterwards yep Another cruiser was destroyed. That was even by a gunner. That is located in the city. He has cruiser gunner in the city. That's not good news, but we can bring the city down. And patrol just outside of its radius. Keep him in check in there. And I think next turn. And yeah, we don't have to attack yet. Send the sea dragon in first so that I don't lose the screamer that will be needed to capture the city actually. Alternatively I can take this screamer. It's quite a long time, long way away, but it's a fat unit. And this is the turn I turn on. Utama, let's change the relationship, let's declare war. I don't need to sign peace with uh, Samatar, however we would get 
even another technology from him, we would be able to get it. I believe I've already attacked. Let's destroy this ship from behind. Just like that. And our submarines can go forward. Let's move this sea dragon over here and hope that the tide hunters will not be destroyed but they are just cutters we have screamers already and yep i think we can take it he's moved forward with all the cutters they're going against the dragon the sea dragon from here we'll make this stronger move this here attack the cutter this sea dragon can move well, let's attack with ranged units first. Over here, the this screamer will take this down. E dragon, yeah, let's move forward. It will at least take tank a hit, so that the cutter will not be able to attack anything else. Yep, the sea dragon was destroyed. We can get another virtue. Let's build, get labor logistics. Build buildings faster. That's all I'm doing in my cities right now. They are not very important to our war effort anymore. And I think destroy this cutter. Let's fire it down. Take it down with a screamer. And fire upon free land right now. I don't care if my tide hunters are discovered. Uh, because I can attack free land and take it. In the annals of history, the great mistake will forever be seen as a Ooh, is cool. glorious war which damaged our homeworld beyond repair. In this, history is wrong. The mistake was not the war. It was our belief that we could start over. That when faced with mutual destruction, there could be peace between nations. It is only now, many years later, and halfway across the universe that we see the truth. There is only one path to peace, and it must be walked alone. And I absolutely love these domination victory screens because there are three for each of the affinities, which is a bit of the military way to put it, how far we the civilization is gone. And it is the strength of the military that is increased by the affinity and from the science, like two thirds of it comes from the science from and I believe the way that there are three different victory screens for the domination victory even the just one victory makes them even more so interesting all right that was Jung Su I have kind of rigged the game in my favor so that all the all the capitals were on water I think it was worth it it was a bit different gameplay from the others I've already done and it fit well with the Jung Su theme even with the spying, well, of a minor mechanic in the game. Thank you all for watching this series. And we are only left with two more civilizations, well, sponsors, leaders, combinations, Slavic Federation. I used to play quite a lot with the Slavic Federation. It's a very, it's not very different. It's a very vanilla-like experience. Random bonuses towards orbital unit. That's not much. Then there is Pan-African Union, which is very special, and I'm looking forward to doing that one. I have to choose which one will be next. If you want, you can comment below which one should I do. Otherwise, see you in the next episode series even. Thank you for watching. Bye.